Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm gonna do a quick, simple review on the Mr. Coffee 12 cup coffee maker. I bought it at Walmart, and I'm gonna give it a try. It's about 17 bucks. I'm gonna open it up here. Put a bag around it. I'm take the bag off. It's got some tape for the. So that's not wanting to come out. I don't want to break anything, so let's just... That was a little tight, so you, that's going to be a little tricky getting that off, but I think if you lift up on it and pull it towards you, it comes out okay. So overall, it's it's made of plastic. It's, it's pretty cheap feeling, but I think, you know, Sometimes these things come last. I had a cheap Mr. Coffee. That thing lasted about 10 years off and on, uh, with off and on use, so. It's got a switch on the front, no other switches. Pretty small cord, but sometimes that's good. You don't have a bunch of cord on your countertop. It's got this nice big opening, so you gotta have some room underneath your countertop to, uh, to open this big opening here. And then it looks like this goes out of the way and you can lift your basket up. Now I do like this, this. So coffee's not gonna come out until you've got the uh, coffee pot underneath it. So that is a nice feature. It doesn't look like it, it just pops in there and that's it. And this just moves out of the way. So you're, you're gonna put the water right here. You're gonna lift the lid up and you're gonna put the water. It does have a nice um, sight here on the side. So overall, first impression's pretty nice. I do like that. It's hinged. And it looks like you can take it off. So I'm sure you can throw that in the dishwasher. So I do like this. This is nice. This looks like nice glass. You can get your hand in there and uh, clean everything. That's really important. So, yeah, all in all, the first impression is pretty nice. That's a little. So that's pretty hard to get on and off, but. I'm going to break it. Oh, that was pretty hard to get on and off, so that might be a little tricky washing it a bunch. But maybe, so that, I could see that being a weak point. Um, so, it's going to sit underneath there. And, so far I like it. I do like this part, so if the coffee doesn't come out directly um, on it, it, it is concaved here. So if it comes out over here, it's going to drain into this. So it's going to catch it all, no matter where you get the coffee pot. If it's kind of off the side or something, it's going to at least go in there. So that's nice. Okay, this is Justice Dad again. I've got um, everything unpacked. It does come with an instruction manual. It's very simple. Just unplug it when you're not using it. Plug it in. Uh, it says this basket. Everything is dishwasher safe, like I told you, the lid. So, I it, this just takes standard 8 to 12 cup uh, filters. And like I said, this, this swings out of the way. And you can lift this up. Now, I, you know, it's got a little thing that says back. 
So that goes in the back. But the, you know, I can see where you might get this a little off, maybe. I've, I've been playing around with it. But it seems like when you get it to the back, it, there, it just kind of goes, but it is kind of loose. Make sure you put that over. So I filled this up with 12. I'm going to do a 12 cup. Now the instruction manual says one tablespoon for every cup. That equates to almost a cup of uh, coffee. I only use a half a cup. So I'm probably making it kind of weak. But I'm going to go ahead and do uh, what it says. So I've got the filter in there. And I'm probably going to want to get it in the center. So I should have I should have moved this out of the way, then dumped the coffee in, and then and then put that back. So, and it's got this on-off switch in the front. It's got a light. The light's not really bright. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to pour my water in. Kind of leaked, didn't it? And I'm going to put it in there. I've started the timer. So it says this is a 12 cup. It didn't really give me a time frame on when it was going to be done. But I'm going to, we're going to watch it here. It might take a couple. Pots of coffee through it too. Water just doesn't look super, super hot, but we're gonna. Hmm. Yeah, the water just doesn't come out, you know, it comes out in one spot. You know, there's coffee grounds everywhere, so. But it's got a long ways to go. I did notice there was a hole. So you can't overfill it. And the 12 cups brought it up to almost to the bottom of that hole. So, but if you fill it up too far, it's gonna leak out that hole and then leak onto your counter. I'm not sure that makes a difference. I'm sure they want you to have it down, but. I guess I was just kind of expecting the water to come out kind of at a hot steam or a hot to kind of cover everywhere. But probably what's going to happen is it's going to fill that basket up so it's going to saturate that basket so eventually the water will. There's where the water goes. So I've got my timer going. Uh, we're right at the three minute mark. You can see it's it's only up to about the four, not quite the four cup mark. So it's got this feature they call, it's called a grab, grab a cup auto pause. And that's that part I showed you underneath there that, that pauses whenever you wanna get a cup. I'm gonna demonstrate that too. Okay, so we're right. Say you're in a hurry, you want to grab a cup, and you're gonna leave the rest for your spouse. So you're just gonna, I'm just gonna try it. We're gonna grab it. So it did drip a little bit, and you can pour it, and then it picks back up again. So let's try it again. So you do get a couple drips, it's gonna burn on there, kind of stink up, but it is an option that, that you do have. And probably the biggest thing is most people will use will use this to uh, fill the reservoir. So it gives you time. So as you're filling the reservoir, you're dumping this in, that, that hot coffee could start to come out. And that's going to be real helpful. That's going to keep the coffee from coming out until you get this underneath there. And then it should start coming out. I have ran into that before where 
if you uh, don't get the coffee pot underneath there fast enough, coffee starts coming out. Okay, so we're right at the five minute mark. This is six cups of coffee are filling up. You can see the, um, the grounds are really saturated on this one side where the water comes out. They're starting to get saturated on the other side. I think my dog Fiona needs some coffee. She's ready for a nap. So again, um, you can see, you know, the water's going down in the back. It's got a good smell to it. You, it's, you can tell there's a coffee aroma. It's brewing coffee. Um, the grounds are wet all the way across, so water is getting all the way over to the other side. You've got that standard percolator action. We're at the eight cup mark, and my timer's at seven minutes. So something else I wanted to show you is the light. Uh, it's it's a really dim light, but at least it does have a light, so it's on, you know if it's on or off. Some of these things have that line and circle, and I can't even remember which one's on or off. So sometimes you just don't even know which way is which. But this is nice. It does have a light to tell you which way the switch is on. Like I said, it's just got the standard percolator sound that you normally have. Okay, I want to do a close up. There's that valve I told you that it pops down whenever you go to take a cup out. So it does drip a few times, but at least it stops the majority of the coffee coming out. And when you put it in there. And so if the coffee pot is off a little bit, you know, it's still going to go into the coffee pot. That's the main thing. But I like the design of that lid, other than it was kind of hard to get on and off. So towards the end of this, we're at the nine minute mark. You're starting to get some splatter up onto the lid, so this is probably a good time to keep the lid closed. I've got it up just for demonstration purposes. Looks like we've reached the end of the water. You've got that good steam action going. Now we're just so this is probably where that valve comes in handy. So we're at the nine, oh, 10 minute mark. You're at 11 cups. The thing's gonna sit there and it's gonna drip for a while. So this is probably when you wanna get your coffee, get your pot of coffee. You're gonna wanna go pour it and then throw it back underneath there. Cause it does seem like it's taking a while for that last bit to come, that last bit to come out. And I did put 12 in and I got about 11 and a half. So it's done brewed, 10 and a half minutes. And towards the end, it really started percolating the hot water and getting to the grounds everywhere. I'm gonna just poke around. So it looks like water did get to all the grounds. It didn't at first. They all seem pretty saturated. So it's kind of like a standard pot of coffee. Okay, so I got a thermometer. I'm gonna actually check the temperature of the coffee. Right around 164, 165. Let's pour a cup. Let's see how it pours. Yeah, it pours fine. So, in my coffee cup, about the same. So let's check the burner. Oh. Yeah, the burner is about 170. Okay, so I tried the coffee. Um, it didn't taste that much different from uh, when I use just a half a cup, so it might have been a little stronger. I put cream and sugar in it, so I may not be the best on this taste, but um, now I'm going to show you how. So, you're going to move this out of the way. Remember, I talked about that. And you're going to lift the basket up. And I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. So, we probably you probably let this cool 
after a while and then you're going to take it to your trash can so you can grab this it's not this is hot but these handles are not hot and that's where that that valve comes into play again so when you're going to take this to the trash can there's going to be some residual water in there and you're not going to it's not going to spill so that's pretty nice so I know some people might be inclined to take this off. I've looked at it, and I don't think it's supposed to come off. I think you might break something. Um, you know, might you might have to wipe it off just from some coffee spilling up on top of it. But I'm not going to take that off to put it in the dishwasher. So these are what you're going to clean up. This is what, you, after you throw the filter away, um, you're going to put these in the dishwasher. So here's a close-up of that valve I was talking to you about underneath the the filter basket so when the coffee pot is underneath it's going to push that up and then there's a little mechanism where it lifts up and lets the coffee out so it's not 100% spill proof we didn't get a few drops coming out of it but it does work pretty good okay so I'm doing my second pot of coffee and it looks like the water is coming out the same at first it's kind of a stream but it is kind of soaking up all the grounds so the water goes in, but it does kind of, so all the grounds are getting soaked, even though it only goes in on this one spot. Thank you everyone for watching my video. This is the Mr. Coffee 12 cup switch coffee maker. I got it from Walmart. I think you can get it off Amazon too. And again, my videos are just simple videos. I'm just trying to, I do videos because I just want to help people. So if you, before you get this coffee maker, if you want to see how it works, how it unboxes, it's a pretty simple design. Um, I think it's going to produce, it produce pretty good coffee for me. So again, thank you. Please like and subscribe. This is Just a Dad. Thank you.